I got this on a super sale. I only paid 49 cents for it. So that was also an automatic yes into the cart. And I sold it on Etsy. I was running my 20% off sale. So the person got it for $24 plus shipping. I would say that this is definitely a bolo. I'm down in my annex and I have a soul. Just go picking for it. Oh, you can see the pretty cobalt blue in there. All of those pieces in there sold except for this mug, which is listed up separately. But I have this set of dishes. I'll get them out, take them up to my Emporium, and tell you more details. Look how pretty that cobalt blue looks. I just love that color. These are actually Pyrex plates, and these are anchor hocking the footed mugs, vintage. I put them together as a set because I just thought they looked great like that. In fact, so did the thrift store. I was back in that same thrift store recently, and they had the purple ones of these. I think it was purple cereal bowls and plates. I didn't pick up those purple cereal bowls and plates because they were pretty scratched up. These are in really good condition. Otherwise, I would definitely have them home already. I got these for quite the deal at the time I bought them. I paid $5 for the entire set here. I had it listed up on Etsy for $41, but I was running a 20% off sale. So the person paid $32.80 plus shipping. As I was listing up my ornaments, I put them in these boxes. Not necessarily the box I would be shipping in, but maybe. So I sold some and they are not on the top here. I think they are underneath. Yeah, definitely not in that one. I have to dig out the ones that were sold and then I'll tell you all about them. Here are the vintage ornaments that sold. Some are like these bell looking ones and some of like these little cylinder looking ones. Just love the rainbow looking glitter there. All different colors. They are vintage um, shiny brights, but these are the ones that are like made in China. So they're not as vintage as the originals that were made in the United States. These came out of those mystery ornament bags that I had bought at the Motown Thrift. I did a whole video. There's the Thrift With Me, the haul, but then I did a video where I just opened up these mystery bags and pulled out the items and I have been listing them up and the first set of ornaments that sold paid for all of the bags. So I have no cost into these. I sold these for $15 plus shipping. If these had not been made in China, if they had been um, made anywhere but there, I would have asked a lot more money for these. I sold a handbag on Poshmark, and it just happens to be right here. I knew this one was going to be a fast seller. Let me put it over on the door, and I'll tell you everything about it. So this item I did not find in a thrift store. I actually bought it online from another seller. They probably got it as a gift and didn't want it and thought, why not sell it? So all in with shipping, I paid $36.98. This is a new with tags, new with tags, Kate Spade tote. It's a, it's a large tote. So it's not like a handbag, it's more, you know, just open. It's got this nice bow on the front of it. I loved the pattern and the colors. I'm attracted to bright items like this. That's probably what made me look at it. And I thought, wow, that price is good. I think the original price was, what does it say there? 
$138. Oh, it says dance party tote, one purpose. I thought, wow, for the price she was asking, plus the shipping, I could get this and flip it. And that's exactly what I did. I sold this for $72 plus shipping on Poshmark. The next item I sold is down here in the annex and it's in this bin. It's my favorite color. I just sold a whole bunch of cobalt blue pieces and now I sold this one. Not to the same uh, buyer, but it's going to be out the door. This is the Anchor Hawking scroll handle. I want to show you the handle. It's footed. The cobalt blue. This is a large size mug. If you see these, pick them up. They're worth more than the other footed mugs that they make. The other ones go for about $12 a piece, $12 to $13 a piece. But this one, I paid $1.50 for it, which if you can get it at a low price, even better. I paid $1.50. I sold it on Poshmark. You can list up vintage items on Poshmark. They have a whole home goods thing. So I'm going to repeat myself one more time. Paid $1.50, sold it for $23 plus shipping on Posh. This stack of dishes right here in the back sold to an international buyer. Let me take them upstairs to my Emporium and I'll tell you uh, what I paid for them and what I sold them for. This is another set of Christmas dishes that I am selling. Last year I picked up a bunch and I actually sold them I think in January. I think they were after the holidays. In fact, I know they were. I picked them up in December and sold them later. These are selling way too close to Christmas, but people are always adding to their sets. They're always looking for replacements or to make their set bigger, whether it's for display or for actual use. These are totally usable. This is Hampton at Home. It's called Christmas Berries. You can see the holly berries on there. So I got two mugs, two dinner plates, and four salad plates. I paid $10.99 uh, at a thrift store and I sold them for $43 plus shipping and it's to an international buyer so I only have to send it domestically to a hub in Illinois and then it's going to go off to its final destination. You gotta love the eBay global shipping program. I had an offer on eBay and I thought wow I haven't seen this item in a long time I knew it was in the bin so I actually dug it out it's these leggings with Mickey Mouse on them. I had wanted to make sure that I actually had them before I accepted the offer. These are actually Lululemon. I do not recommend picking up this brand unless you can get it for extremely cheap. It's got to have a cool pattern on it and it's going to be a long tail to sell it. I only paid 40 cents for this because I got it at the bins and it's by the weight. And I took an offer of $7 plus shipping on eBay. Had a couple of sales on eBay. I've been putting all of my Christmas ornaments as I'm listing them up just in boxes, not necessarily the boxes that they'll be shipped in, but I put them together as lots or a few items in a box together. So what's sold is actually in this little box. So there's three little items in here. And this is the one that's sold. Here is some more of the Christmas ornaments that I haven't listed up. So that little reindeer, I was going to list up with all this other clear glass type ornaments. But when I picked it up, I'm like, wow, it's a little bit heavier than, than some of these. And then I'll bring my camera over here so you can see. I noticed this little tag on it and that says Lennox. Might be upside down, but it says Lennox. And I was like, oh, this is a Lennox ornament. So then I looked it up and decided to list it up separately. It's got its Rudolph, has some little gemstones in there. And it, like I said, it's got some weight to it. And 
I sold it on eBay. So I got this in those bag of ornaments. And so it's really hard for me to give a price as to how much I paid for it. All of the bags together plus one box of ornaments was a little over $16. And this is just another sold out of that batch. I'm, I am keeping a tally of how many things I'm selling, but because I'm still listing things up, I haven't really assigned a value to my, say, the cost of goods of, of the item. I sold him for $14.49 plus shipping. Rough estimate, my numbers so far on the bags of ornaments and that box of ornaments. Like I said, I paid a little over $16 for those. And I'm roughly at that $80 mark on the solds. There are still other items that are listed and other items that need to be listed. So that'll be an ongoing project. And I'll keep you guys updated as I go along. I accepted an offer for these. It's three bowls and two plates. Let me take them upstairs and I will tell you more about that particular sale. I remember being in the thrift shop with my daughter and we came across these bowls and plates and it's culinary arts cafe ware porcelain this is heavy like restaurant ware and i think that's why people like it i had more bowls which i sold already i had a set of four bowls that sold and then i have these and the two plates um all in i paid let me just look real quick here five dollars and 37 cents and I got an offer this morning on eBay for $40 plus shipping, and I accepted it. So they are plain white. There's nothing special about them, but they do sell for pretty good money, and they're worth picking up. I've been stacking up all of my Christmas ornaments into these boxes to keep them grouped as I listed them. But I sold something that is right behind them here. It is that bowl right there. Let me get it out and I'll tell you all about it. This is the smallest of the mixing bowl set that you can get uh, with Pyrex. Uh, this is the woodland one, the brown woodland pattern. It says Pyrex on the bottom there. Uh, so these little bowls, when you're trying to put the set of four bowls together, are always the hardest to find. So I do pick them up when I see them. So there is an entire corral set that matches this too. I have some uh, items listed that would go along with this. Corral and Pyrex did a lot of collaborations. I paid 99 cents for this bowl and I sold it on Etsy, which I'm always running my 20% off sales. And uh, I had it listed for 19, but I sold it for $15.20 plus shipping. Let's go picking it over here in the corner for a sold I have on eBay. And no, it's not the ugly Christmas sweaters. We've been having fun wearing them through the holiday season here. I gotta wash them all and then I'll be putting them up for sale. Maybe I'll wait until like next fall to do that. But what did sell, oh, not those picture frames. I gotta get those off of there too, is what's in this box. I'll open it up and show you what it is. Okay, now we can see what's in the box. This is a king size comforter and has two pillow shams. I got it at a thrift store. I paid $13 for it. And I was running a 25% off sale uh, between Christmas and New Year's in my eBay and uh, store. And so this sold for $247.49 plus shipping. It's a Ralph Lauren, which is why it was priced so high and it took a long time to sell. It is the Bell Harbor pattern in red here, the red floral. And there are a lot of uh, accessories that go with this, like the sheet set and um, like the dust ruffle, all that kind of uh, accessories that go along with this. And if you find any of those items, they're all bolos. This is definitely a huge bolo if you see it. 
I just happened to see this red poking out from the linen section and I ran for it. And another woman was right behind me and she figured if I didn't put it in my cart, she was going to put it in hers. I already pulled this out of where I had it. I had it tucked back in that part, but I have these clothes here now and so it's too hard to get back in there. But this is the other item that sold on eBay. It's a pottery bowl with this sun, oh, I was going to say sun star, <gasps> starfish on it. It's a starfish bowl made by HBS. I think somebody made this really nice pottery piece. I paid $1.51 at a thrift store for this starfish bowl. It's a pottery bowl handmade. And I sold it for $13.06 plus shipping on eBay. I got these in those ornament bags and I sold them on eBay for $22 plus shipping. I'm planning on taking all these boxes with my ornaments downstairs to my basement annex. But before I can do that, I got to find some that I sold. In fact, I can see them. They're right here. Let me bring them over to the table and I'll tell you more about them. Aren't these just adorable? Love the little pine cones. I see that people collect these. They usually display them like in a bowl or something like that, but you could certainly hang them up on the tree. This one is actually broken at the top, which was disclosed in the description. Still has its hanger on it though. And then there's this one. So these were part of those bagged ornaments that I keep telling you about. And I'm keeping a running tally. I spent $16.71 on the bags plus that one box set of ornaments. And I sold these for $7.42 plus shipping. Which brings my total so far to $87.90. This has turned out to be a really good flip. The ornaments are all packed up in this perfect little box. And they are my last sale of 2023. They sold on December 30th and today is New Year's Eve. I am going on vacation from January 2nd through January 7th. So I do have my eBay store on time away, but people can still buy items from me. They're just gonna get the delayed shipping, so they're aware of that. My eBay and Poshmark stores are closed. I just got back from vacation and I have five items to ship out. And a few of them are down here in my basement annex. So right back here, I'm gonna reach and pull. You're not gonna be able to see very well, but it's these glasses. I will get them out and take them upstairs to the Emporium. And I think I'm gonna try to pull all of the items and then kind of tell you about them all at once. Another item I sold, and no, it's not the paper. That's my butcher paper, but it is this. It's a village square house. Actually, oh, schoolhouse. Schoolhouse that I sold. Way back in there is the other items that sold. I'm going to have to move a bunch of items out of the way to get to them. Okay, I got that down. So it's not these. These are mixed in with them. So I'm going to take these out and what sold were these and I'm like I said I'm going to take everything upstairs and I'll tell you about these items plus the other two items that sold this is another item that sold it's a little buried I have to get it out from under the shoes I'll get that out too so I moved the shoes up here because I was thinking, why are they not in my shoe bin? But then, ironically, the other item that sold, I'm just going to put those back there, 
is in here. So I have to dig them out and then I can put those shoes in here. Before I could even tell you about the five items that sold while I was on vacation, I just had another item sold on my eBay. It's this set of dishes here. Let me get those out and now I have six items to ship out. As a part-time reseller, I am so thrilled right now. My total cost of goods on these items is $21.69. I paid $5.99, cents, $2, and I paid $2.97 for the glasses. Altogether, I sold this group of six items for $177.64 plus shipping. I sold the glasses for $18.69. I sold this for $11. This is the third one of these I sold. They come in different colors. They're vintage mug rack. And I am always on the lookout for these. Um, and I only paid 70, what did I say, 74 cents? Yeah, 74 cents for this because I got it at a discount at the thrift store. Um, I'll pay up to a dollar or so for them. And they usually sell in that 10 to $12 range. So I sold that one for 11. These I've had for a long time. This is Anthropology, which is why I picked them up. Lily of the Valley, it's four mugs and a creamer. And I sold those for $60.96. These are L.L. Bean. Let's go ahead and turn it around for you guys. L.L. Bean men's. They're called Allagash is the, um, I guess is what they call this particular one. It's a penny loafer. And I sold those for $39 plus shipping. The schoolhouse. I sold for $26. So anytime you can get these, always look them up individually though to make sure that you can, you know, get a good flip on them. I tried to pick up more of these this year and I just could not. I kept putting them in my cart, but once I comped them out, I had to take them out of my cart because they were not the ones I was looking for. You want the more vintage looking ones. This is the schoolhouse one. This is Mervyn's 1994. And then the corral plates, these have the little birdhouses on them. I actually got these at a garage sale. That's why I only paid like $2 for those. And I sold them for $32.99. $32.99 for those. And yes, I still have my Christmas ornaments over there. I did not get those listed. And here we are in January, but Christmas does sell all year long. I'm still debating whether or not I want to list up that last little bit of lot over there or just get into listing all of the items that I have been thrifting uh, for the past couple of weeks. All of that also has to get listed. So I might put those aside and list them up um, later and get some of my bigger items um, up on uh, eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, wherever I'm going to sell them. Had a sale on Etsy. And it's over here in the closet. It's down in this box. I can see it. It's right there. I got to move this out of the way. And then I can get to that. And I'll show you what it is. Here is a better look at that vase. I picked it up because it was so unique looking. I thought, wow, I've never seen a vase with like a dove's head on it like that. It was just really cool. And then when I turned it over to see who made it, it said Dansk. That's almost an automatic yes into my cart. Dansk International. And it says Japan on there. I'm trying to get my camera to focus a bit. I got this on a super sale. I only paid 49 cents for it. So that was also an automatic yes into the cart. And I sold it on Etsy. I was running my 20% off sale. So the person got it for $24 plus shipping. I would say that this is definitely a bolo.